have you ever paid in a store simply by showing your face? Chances are that you soon will. Biometric payments are on the rise. Researchers forecast over 3 trillion US dollars of biometric payments next year. And lots of it will be generated by just scanning your face in a shop or restaurant. But is it safe? What happens to my data? And could I charge my sister's credit card? If you haven't done it yourself, you've most likely seen someone unlock their phone with their face. Apple, for example, already offers the so-called Face ID. It works just like the fingerprint scanner on a phone, except that your face is the biometric identification point. You can also confirm bank payments with it. Chinese financial service provider Alipay has pushed this to the next level. Payment by showing your face only. You don't need to present a bank card or show your phone. Now, big financial players like JP Morgan and MasterCard are pushing pay by face as well as online giants like Amazon. It's expected that within the next years, more and more pay by face systems will be established. How does it work? Well, it's very simple. First, you capture your biometrics by activating your camera or even with a simple selfie. The face is then broken down into data points, which are stored in so called tokens. So, there is no photo of you stored on a server somewhere. The tokens are enough to identify your face. Then you need to connect your face to your bank account or credit card. If you're in a store or restaurant that supports pay by face, you simply press a button on the payment terminal. The device scans your face and voila, you just paid with your face. Meaning you granted the restaurant permission to debit the payment from your bank account. Is it secure? Biometric authentication is a technically very safe method compared to passwords or pins. A face scan is also more secure than other biometrics, like a fingerprint. According to manufacturers, a face can't be hacked like a password. The systems also have extra security layers and therefore can't be easily tricked by a photo of the person or even a mask. The technology is not perfect though. It's not recommended for children under 13 because their facial features may not be fully developed. And how about people that look just like their siblings, say twins? Could they be able to use their faces to pay for the other without them knowing? Well, pay by face companies at least can't rule that out. Is there any other catch? As is often the case, your convenience comes with the exposure of your data. And this time, even your biometric data. Biometric tokens make it much harder for criminals to hack your accounts. But security activists are warning that token theft is becoming more commonplace. The problem? Once your face data is in the hands of criminals, you can't simply change it like a password. And there is even more to consider. Some government regimes try to survey and identify people using facial recognition systems. In order to identify, let's say, protesters, they need a database to compare the data to. So they could be very interested in your pay by face data. And even though tech companies assure us that all our data is encrypted and stored securely, we have seen companies hand out data to governments before. So definitely make sure you trust any company you use this technology with. What do you think? Would you use pay by face if available?